Welcome to DPEX. In this example, we will perform slope stability analysis of a slope surface with and without soil nails, and we will also examine the surface settlements using our finite element analysis engine. DPEX is a powerful software program for design and analysis of any deep excavation model. It can analyze several common wall types and support systems. Using the classical limit equilibrium analysis method, it can perform non-linear analysis with use of elastoplastic winkle springs, and it can also perform finite element analysis. We will create a model of a slope surface with a building in our software program DPEX, and we will perform the slope stability analysis using the Morgenstern Price method. We will analyze the same model with use of soil nails, and we will finally run the finite element analysis to examine the different finite element analysis results. Inside the DPEX software, one of our first actions should be to access the soil types dialog, and here we can create a list of soils and edit their soil properties according to our geotechnical report. Our next step is to define our bent surface here, so I will right-click on the left side of the wall and I will select the option set left bent surface. Here we will define the angle for our slope surface. In this example we will use 45 degrees. We will define the elevation of the bends and we will use 20 feet. And we will select the bench offset so the slope will start one feet behind the wall. We press OK. So the bent surface is created. Now we will define the actual stratigraphy of the project. So I access the edit boring button and here we can define the top of the soil layer elevation and the soil type below its elevation for every soil layer. With the top elevation 20 feet we will use the fill layer and with top elevation 10 feet we will use the soil GT which is a glacial till. I press OK and this changes the project stratigraphy. Our next action is to access the draw loads option here and we will select to add the 3D building on the model area. I select the tool, I click on the model area and here we can define the exact X coordinate along my screen for the right point of the building. So we will say 25 feet. We can also define the Y coordinate where the building starts on the perpendicular direction of my screen and here we will select minus 10 and in the same dialog we can define several other building properties like the widths along its axis, the number of columns on its axis, the life loads, dead loads, materials etc for every floor, for the footings, the columns etc. So we can see here that the building is added on our model area. In this example we will not examine the wall itself, so we can double click on the wall and make it considerably shorter. So I will make it 5 feet deep. Now we can access the move model dimension limits and here we can change the model limits left, right, top and bottom in order to create a nice view of our model. So I will change the left limit to minus 100, I will change the bottom limit to minus 40, and I will change the right limit to 60. So if we press OK, this will change the limits of our model area. In this example, we will perform slope stability analysis. So we can go to the slope tab, we can select to perform global stability analysis, and we will select the slope stability analysis method to be the general limit equilibrium method, Morgenstern Price. In the failure surface, we will select the circular surface and we will use the draw tool in order to draw a rectangle of centers. All these points will be used as possible centers for our different examined slope surfaces. We select to perform the analysis. The classical limit equilibrium method will not produce any results on the wall because we don't have any excavation actually. But in the slope tab we can select to perform slope stability analysis. And here we can see the calculated slope stability safety factor and the most critical slope surface. In the results tab we can select to display the global FS contours 
which actually show the different safety factors that, that would be produced if these points were used as possible senders for our slope surfaces, and the different results for the slices. Now we will right click on the design section and we can select to add it as a new section, so this will actually create a copy. And we will edit the name and I will name it Base Model Soil Nails. In this new design section, which as we see opens in a different tab here, I will access the slope tab and we will select to draw a soil nail group. I'll click on two spots on my slope surface and these nails are automatically created. I can access these nails and I can actually make them longer. So I will make this one 30 feet long and I will change the structural section of it. I will add a new section for the nail. I will name it nail and I will use a solid bar and the section will have one bar number nine. I will assign the nail section here and I can access the bottom soil nail and I will make it 20 feet long and I will also use the nail section. If we run the analysis here we will see the new slope stability analysis which will be higher because we used the soil nails in this second case. So we can compare the two different design sections. Finally I right click on my model I will add it as a new section, I will edit the name and this one I will name it Base Model Fem from Finite Element Analysis. In this one we will go to the Analysis tab and I will change the Analysis method in order to use our Finite Element Engine. For this we require the additional optional module Finite Element Analysis in our DPEX version. Also we can access the analysis method options and here we will select to use the exact theoretical method and also we can access the stage analysis options and here we can select to use a defined convergence tolerance and I will leave this 3%. I press OK and now we select to run the finite element analysis. As soon as the analysis finishes, we can review the effect of the slope surface on the wall from the finite element analysis. So we can review different results here. And we can also review different results on the model area, such as the soil displacements, the soil settlements. So we can review the settlement below the building soil vertical and soil vertical effective stresses, etc. Visit our website in order to review more information about our software programs and services. If you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.